Good morning, all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. Let's get to work. Well, it's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? And I have the day off from work, and so I'm gonna get some work done around the homestead. Mama's got the babies inside doing school, and we are gonna go back here and check on the garden. We did get a very small sprinkling of rain two nights ago. Uh, I don't really think it was enough to do much. So I'm gonna go out here and uh, I think my corn is still looking a little yellow. Maybe water those up. Then get a few weeds out of here. And then we are gonna, by the grace of God, finish up the carport today. I also wanna take a second and just say thank you to all of you who watched and commented and liked uh, our gender reveal video yesterday. Uh, the numbers on that video have just blown us out of the water. Uh, as of this morning, it's up to like 850 views and uh, that just blows my mind. So thank you very much. If you haven't seen it yet, go back one video in my channel, one video to the best gender reveal ever. I believe that's what I called it. And uh, you'll see it there. We had a lot of fun, guys. So thanks for being here today. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. So this is why I like to come to the garden early in the morning. You get to see everything in its full, uh, just firmness and perkiness before the heat and sun of the day gets it all flabby and wilty like looking like but uh, here's some squash these suckers have really taken off uh, these are the other squash these were from seed these are doing really well <clears throat> over here are the zucchinis and they are doing really well and guys I am happy to report the little engine that could has definitely greened up and is definitely starting to put on some size and I am so happy for him. Down this row we have our tomatoes and almost every tomato plant is beginning to put out some little yellow flowers. I'm gonna go through those today and get all the suckers off. <clears throat> so if you don't know what a sucker is, I'll show you that in a minute. And here are my corn. These first five or six plants seem to be doing well. And then these last five or six plants are kind of yellow. So we're about to water those guys up right now. Okay, you guys, tomato plant suckers. See how this little guy's growing up in the crotch of that there tomato? We're gonna pop it out. See this one right here? Pop it out. I like to dig my fingernail in there and cut it so kind of, I like to dig my fingernail in there and kind of cut through the stem with my fingernail so I don't rip too much. There's one up here. Like that. What else we got? See them pretty flowers? Oh yeah. Don't be hating. Don't be hating. I'm gonna be eating tomatoes by the end of May. Yes sir. Gonna be good stuff here on the Hewitt Homestead. All right, guys, we are done. We have successfully de-suckered all the tomatoes. And at the same time, we have been watering as we go. You know what I just thought about while I'm out here waiting for the plants to be watered? They should make like a hose that you hook up to your water line that like continuously dribbles out a little bit of water and is on a timer so that every day without you coming out like you could continuously like drip feed, uh, drip water your plants. What a great idea. Somebody should make one of those. Hmm. And when you put one together, let me know. I'll buy one. All right, you guys, so we're done in the garden for right now. But for right now, I'm gonna get back up here on this carport. Try to get this sucker finished off today. Just gotta finish nailing off all this plywood. Problem is I gotta go slow. 
because all I got is this little bitty air compressor right here. And uh, it's hard for it to keep up, so I actually have to go a lot slower than I could. Uh, so this might take a while. Thanks for being here, guys. So glad you joined us. Let's get her done. I would once again like to thank my father for letting me borrow his nail gun. Could not imagine having to hand drive all these nails. It'd take me two weeks. All right, so now I am done nailing off the plywood. I need to build a floating rafter to go on the edge here. And I'm gonna I mean, I'm going to borrow a page out of the timber framing manual and do a little uh, timber frame type of uh, joinery uh, locking together, kind of make like a little A-frame truss. Um, well, let me show you. Okay, so I did the math on the trusses that I already have up there, and it's so weird. It's like three and a half inches for every 12 inches, so it's like 3.35 in 12 pitch. Um, Usually it's just a round number, 3 and 12, 5 and 12, 6 and 12. Um, but yeah, so here again, just like everything at this house, it ain't easy. It ain't standard. You got to custom fit everything. So, so, so here I've got my first run marked. Put my speed square on there. Kick it out to three and just eyeballing what looks to be about a third. And uh, that gives me my pitch for my cut. Then what I'm gonna do is come, a, come about a foot and a half down. That'll be right about the middle. And I'm gonna run me a cross brace. Slow, steady, tedious, and paying attention to detail. That's the way I gotta do it. It doesn't make for a quick job, but it makes for a correct job. Coffee break. So I'm sitting here trying my hand at timber framing techniques. Now this is not a timber frame. Uh, now this is not a timber frame structure, but I did borrow a couple of timber frame-ish techniques when I put up the post and beams. And then now I thought I would try some timber framing techniques while I was building this um, this last truss here on the end. It's not going so well, and you know, I just can't figure out why. I have watched so many Wrangler Star videos, it's pathetic. I mean, I should be a grade A timber framer just based on the amount of hours of Wrangler Star videos alone, okay, that I've watched. Okay, so right here is where the cross member is going to intersect this top cord. And so I've wanted to I wanted to cut down, put a bunch of bunch of surf cuts in here, and then knocked out all the loose wood. And I've been trying to whittle it down with my Harbor Freight wood chisel. I'm not sure exactly what chrome vanadium is, but man, it just sounds like it's got to be the bomb chisel. Woo!
And to be honest with you, I'm actually fairly pleased with the chisel. I mean, it's straight out the package, fairly sharp. Um, I haven't sharpened it at all. And I've been able to do a decent job. Um, <clears throat> here's my problem. When I was just knocking out the wood that I had you know, put all my surf cuts in, crossways, hatchways, diagonal ways, it was it was ripping out more wood than what I wanted and so I've got a lot of two deep spots they're, they're just too deep down uh, that have come out and then this stinking knot right here messed me up right on the end I'm trying man this is just, just you know one thing after the other <coughs> but you know what guys I gotta be honest with you this is so much fun. I wish I had been doing this a long time ago. Just to feel the wood in your hands through that chisel, really, you really get a chance to get in touch with the piece of wood that you're working on. And, 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 and then to see it start to shape up before your eyes and to become smooth and level as you slowly, as you slowly scrape off thin layer by thin layer and it slowly begins to take the form that you want man I, this is this is awesome it is worth the wait um, I don't know if any of you've ever done any timber framing before but working with these old hand tools and and notching your wood to fit inside of each other instead of just slapping two pieces together with some nails and screws which will be all right but it ain't gonna be as pretty um, I'm glad I'm doing this is it gonna take me longer to finish my carport now? Absolutely. But guys, it is so worth it. So I'm gonna keep going, and I don't know how far we'll get today, but I'll show you what I got when we get done. All right, you guys, we're gonna call it done for the day. I am gonna start cleaning up and head inside. Uh, this is what we got done. <clears throat> it is not as pretty as I had envisioned it was gonna be, but, uh, you know, once you get your hands on it and you start working with it and you see how difficult it is, um, I'm actually pretty uh, excited to be at this point. Uh, but like I said, guys, it is so much fun. I really enjoy doing it. I can't wait to do so much more of this. Um, I think I found my new thing, my new thingity thing. And uh, you can expect to see me trying my hand at more timber framing. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. It's been a blast. We've gotten some work done. We've gotten some garden work done. And uh, in between times, y'all didn't really get to see it. I got to have a cup of coffee with my wife and hang out just for a minute and enjoy the view. Uh, and also, tomorrow, guys, is going to be a good one. A fun one that you don't want to miss. Tomorrow, we are going to the end of the year homeschool co-op, end of the year pool party bash. Yes, sir. That's right. Me and my kids are going to go swim in a pool with about 30 other insane high-strung sugar-buzzed kids. Ooh, it's going to be fun. Yes, sir. It's going to be awesome. Um, and the people's house we're going to, they always, usually, usually always have a very nice garden so we'll check out their garden and see what they got going on too so uh thanks for being here guys thanks for watching these videos so many of you have been subscribing i'm like this close to hitting 100 subscribers and super excited about that so if you haven't subscribed already go down and click that subscribe button you will not be sorry i promise you well me and boo are out here in the back enjoying the rest of this day it is beautiful out here the breeze is blowing Good Lord is reminding me of how wonderful and powerful and mighty he is and reminding me how blessed I am to have this little guy to get to look at all that have a beautiful wife and two other kids in the house sitting up there doing homework these are the things guys that mean the most these are the things that are special all that other stuff you can have it the end of the day all that other junk all those other toys they don't make you happy this this makes you happy live life guys live it to the fullest appreciate everything that God has given you and your life will begin to be full once again that's right have a good one, guys, and we will see you tomorrow.